Let go of her! Grandma! You can't take her! I said come with me! No, I want to live with Grandma! You can't take her! She's my only granddaughter. David said she should be with me. That's a lie! Let go of her! No, we want to live with Grandma! No, no, bring her back! No, bring her back! <laughs> Good morning, Toby. Come on, let's go. Here are the documents. There's no way anybody's gonna find out that they're fake. This looks exactly like David's signature. It is. But how? Technology, my dear. Mm, you are so very clever. Dexter, my darling, mm -hmm. did you get the tickets? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here they are. We leave on the Metro at 2 o'clock Friday afternoon. And on Monday, the little brat will be in boarding school in Brussels until she's 18. That old bag will never see her precious little granddaughter again. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of that yippy, snippy, dirty little dog. He's going to the pound where he belongs. And I am go- We. We are going to be filthy rich on the French Riviera. <laughs> Did you hear something? I heard something. Don't worry, Toby. I won't let them take you away. Dear Grandma. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'll miss you too, Dexter. <laughs>
That is correct. I, I want the entire $50 million transferred on Friday. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Anna, what were you doing up there? Um, nothing. I thought I told you never to go up there. Get dressed. Your breakfast is ready. Come on, Toby. Anna's mother died when Anna was just a baby. My son David was devastated. Two years later, he married Shannon. That woman was nothing more than a gold digger. All she wanted was David's money. And now she's got my granddaughter, my only granddaughter, and she won't let me see her. You must help me. I'm sorry, Miss Mackenzie. But we spoke to your daughter-in-law, and she says that she has full custody of Anna. That's a lie! Unless you can prove otherwise, our hands are tied. David told me I was to get Anna, and to be the trustee of her inheritance. David told me where he hid the document. I can't remember where. Y you must believe me! I'm, I'm sure you'll find him. Miss Mackenzie, we need to go. Please, I need your help. Have a good day. Is there anything I can get for you, Mrs. Mackenzie? Yes. Call my attorney. Tell him I want to meet with David's attorney. Yes, ma'am. Yeah? I think it could be 
be serious. Oh, honey, I don't have time right now. I've got to get these groceries put away and dinner on the table before five when your dad gets home. But Mom, this Hello? is... Hello? Karen! Of course I have time. What's going on? Jake, can you please get this? Hey, come on. Sorry, go ahead. You're not. Yeah? I came to get that poor excuse of an ugly mutt you got there. Back, back. Hey, don't play games with me, kid. What do you want Otto for? Was I got complaints that he's been out without a leash. That's not true. Oh, yeah? Let me tell you something, kid. I can't stand dogs. So if I see your poor excuse of a dog out again without a leash, This is Gage. Hi, Gage. It's me, Jake. I uh, can you call me back later? I'm in the middle of a shoot. What shoot? For the yearbook? Student of the month? I thought you were finished with that. No, ma'am. I still got two more to do. We need to talk. Meet me at the clubhouse. As soon as I'm done here. Okay. Ready? I want to see your best go. Gobble, 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 gobble. Where'd you find this? In the pond. You think this is really real? Yeah, I think so. If it is, we gotta do something real fast. We've only got three days. What does it say in the envelope? Grandma, mix something. It's all blurry. It's got perfume on it. And I've smelled it before. Where? I don't know, but I've smelled it before. If we knew the name, maybe we could find out where they sell it. I don't know any perfume names, dude. Hey, you know who might know? Tiffany Lefevre. That's right. Have you got her number? Dude, do eggs have yolk in them? Of course I remember. Tiffany? Hey, Tiff. Danny? No, it's me, Gage. Who? Gage Williams. Is this a joke? No, I'm just calling to ask if you could come stop by the clubhouse. Well, we have a couple questions to ask you about a thing we found in the pond. I guess maybe. Okay. Bye, Tiff. We're gonna need more help than that. I've got it. If you had to find one kid in our class to help find Bin Laden, who'd you pick? Max Mad Dog Rimsky, yeah! We're at the finals of the Adult National Paintball Championship. Only two contestants have survived in advance to this final round. Former Green Beret and five-time national paintball champion, Wolf Gunner and the talk of the tournament. Phenomenon nine-year-old Max Mad Dog Rimsky. This young man has won every division in this sport, qualifying him for the Grand National. Each contestant is eliminated 20 opponents. This is Max. Max, it's me, Jake. Jake, I can't talk now. I'll call you later. It's important. Meet me at the clubhouse.
Don't you worry, Toby. Mama's gonna find the letter and everything's gonna be okay. Don't you believe the thing Shannon says? You don't stink. You smell just the way a dog should. <laughs> I love you too, Toby. Before I open up my eyes to see another day Before I go to see the world and take their play Before I beat up on my feet to chase that dream I want you there with me, I want you there with me Cause without you I'm gonna go nowhere told me girls weren't on this operation. And what's wrong with girls? What do they know? I got more important things to do with my time. What are you gonna do, swim back? Maybe. Hey, Max, just sit down. Come on, just listen to us for a minute, man. Yeah. You got one minute. Don't worry, Toby. We're gonna sneak out of here and find Grandma. Somebody's gonna know where she is. Now let's go. Very, very quiet. Dear Grandma, I tried to call you, but your number doesn't work. I wonder if Shannon gave me the wrong number. I love you and miss you so much. I heard Shannon say she's going to take me away and send Toby to the pound. Please come and get me. I don't want to go. I love you. Your one and only granddaughter, Anna. P.S. I spread the letter with my favorite perfume so you can smell it. Do you think this is for real? Why wouldn't she just send the letter? Know what I mean? Because she doesn't know where her grandmother lives. Or if she did, this Shannon probably wouldn't help her send it. What do you think, Max? Come on, let's quit wasting time and get busy. Okay, let's make a list. And where do you think you're going? I don't want to go to Europe. I want to live with Grandma. Oh, so you've been eavesdropping, have you? Go to your room. Let's go. I want to live with Grandma. Come on. These are all of our clues. All right, the girl's name is Anna, and it looks like she has blonde hair. Anybody know an Anna with blonde hair? Anyone can have blonde hair, dude. She probably bleached it. No, this isn't bleach. This is all natural. Oh, we've got a birthday balloon. Good clue. This means her birthday was probably in the last few days. Gotta be fingerprints all over that. Well, she has a dog named Toby, and from the looks of his paw print, it looks pretty small. If they have him groomed, maybe we could find out who the owner is. Well, her grandma's name starts with Mick. Could be McDonald's, McKnight, McFarley. Man, how many Micks are there? You don't want to know. We have an address with only two numbers, a two and a five. The rest are too blurry to read. Two numbers are better than one. That's right. I'm so glad you came, Tiff. And she put some hair in the envelope. Why? To give her grandma a piece of herself. It's a girl thing. And she sprayed some perfume on it. That's another girl thing. Isn't that right, Tiff? Yeah. Show her the envelope, Gage. Here, smell this one. <sighs> Yummy. Shock and awe. Are you sure? Yeah, it's French. A company called Julianne makes it. Very expensive, like $100 an ounce. Wow. 
I think I know where they sell it. So chances are these people are very rich. And stupid. A hundred bucks an ounce? For perfume? You could buy a box of ammo, Pro 40s, for 22 bucks. A hundred in a box. And they probably have their dog groomed. Good point. Okay, that's it. We've got three days to find this girl or her grandma. Who's in? We have to find her. I'm in. I'm in. Good. But before we start, I think we should try and meet with the brain. Yeah, good idea. Who's the brain? George Washington Cardwell. The smartest kid you'll ever meet. Dude, he took the ACT test just for the fun of it. He got a perfect score. And he's only nine years old. Hello? George? Who's this? Oh, it's, it's me, Gage Williams. Gage Williams. Remember the guy who did that piece on you in the school newspaper? What's his problem? We don't need him. Hello? Hi, George. It's Tiffany the Fever. Some friends and I need some advice and direction. I know how busy you are, but would you possibly have a few minutes this afternoon? Sure. You do? You're so sweet. Three o'clock? Sure. Great. Thanks, George. Bye, George. Done. And that's why you need a girl. Any more questions, Max? Let's go. Come on, he's downstairs. Dude, the library gave him his own room. No way. Yep, it's true. Someone told me he gets a call from the president at least once a week. Are you kidding me? Come in. Hi. Everybody sit down, please. Sit down. Sorry, Mr. President. I have some people here to see me. No worries. I've got a few more minutes. I've been researched for a week on your dilemma, and my assessment is that tax cuts at this particular time are going to be far more effective than raising taxes. Thank you, George. Anytime. And tell your daughter thanks for the invitation to her birthday party. Right, I'm going to try and make it. You too. Goodbye, Bye. Hey, Tiffany. Hi. Anna. Anna. Dinner's in 15 minutes. Anna? Yeah? I thought we got you three balloons for your birthday. Where's the other one? It, it, it popped. Well, what did you do with it? Um. I don't see it in the wastebasket. I, um, I flushed it down the toilet. Don't do that again. Okay. Toby, I think we're in big trouble. Mm -hmm. Her grandma's name is Mick something. How can we find the right Mick in three days? Good question, Tiffany. Statistical studies show when searching for something like this, never start at the beginning and go forward, but rather in this specific case, start with the first name, then go to the last, then return to the beginning and skip the third, then to the third, to the last, and continue until you meet in the middle. Thousands of such tests have been performed, and this method has proven the most successful 85.9.9% .9 of the time. Thanks, George. I'll try that. What about the dog? It looks like it's prints on the envelope. Do you think it's a puppy? From the looks of this, it is not a puppy. Are you sure? 
doors are closed and sealed. My guess, it is a small dog, approximately two years old. What did you say the dog's name was? Toby. Let's see, according to the software. I'll bet you wrote the software, didn't you, George? Yeah, right. That's correct with me. This tells me the name Toby is the name most commonly given to Yorkie mixed terriers. What about the perfume on the letter? That's expensive perfume. You're right, shock and off. A hundred dollars an ounce. How do you know that? You wouldn't still be able to smell cheap perfume, would you? This stuff has sandalwood essential oil in it. Makes sense. I smelled it on a girl before, but I can't remember who. Then try out Phenomenology of the Mind. What? The unlocking of the subconscious mind. It knows who's wearing that perfume. How am I supposed to do that? Is there a knockoff of shock and awe? While. It's like $6 for a four ounce bottle. Try an experiment. Get some wild, spray your pillow tonight, sleep on it, and see what your subconscious mind does. This is ridiculous. I want to get out of here as fast as I can. What's the matter, honey? <sighs> the little brat sent a letter to the old bag. Letter? How did, how did that happen? She tied it to one of the birthday balloons we gave her. What? We gotta do something fast. Relax. Look, the thing is probably in a tree somewhere. In someone's backyard. But there's no way anybody's gonna find out we falsified those documents. You better be right. I... Hang on a second. Yes, Kim? Mrs. McKenzie is here. Ah, uh, send them in. Listen, I've gotta go. Uh... uh I'll call you a little later. Well, hello, Mrs. McKenzie. Mr. Phillips, Walter Gooding. Well, Mr. Gooding, won't you have a seat? Well, what can we do for you today, Mrs. McKenzie? My attorney here tells me my son made his second wife, Shannon, sole trustee of his fortune and gave her guardianship over my granddaughter. Is that correct? Uh, I'm afraid that's right. If you'll uh, look at the document in question here, you'll see that this is the signature of your son, David. Listen to me, Shorty. You are a liar. And this is fraud, and I'll prove it. I shall produce the original, unalterated document. We shall meet again, Mr. Phillips. Let's go, Walter. Have a good day, Mrs. McKenzie. Nice meeting you. Do you have a granddaughter named Anna? Do you have a granddaughter named Anna? Do you guys sell balloons? Do you have a dog by the name of Toby? Do you have a granddaughter named Anna? We're conducting a survey of buyers of shock and odd. Toby? Yes. Is this hot dog's grooming? Does your Anna have blonde hair? T as in kind of terrific. You don't keep a record? Do you guys by chance have a client by the name of Toby? Okay, thanks. You do? O as in awesome. I'm 19, why? The St. Bernard. 44? B as in beautiful. Do you have a friend? Do you have a friend? Do you have a friend? Hello? Hello? I'm looking for a little blonde-haired girl named Anna. She just had her birthday. Do you have a granddaughter by that name? Who is this, and how did you get my number? Do you have a granddaughter named Anna? No. No, there's nobody here by that name. Is this pet song? What do you mean, for you? I'm just, you what? Hello? Hi, Mom. 
totally forgot. Okay. Bye. Darn it. What's the matter? Dude, I totally forgot my Lindy Hop lesson. That's it for me, guys. I think we're wasting our time here. I mean, trying to find this girl is worse than trying to find a needle in a haystack. Yeah, I think Gage is right. We don't even know if this girl exists. Come on, guys, we got work to do. Hello, do you have a granddaughter named Anna? Okay, thanks. What are you doing? I'm trying to find Anna so she can be with her grandmother. I think you're wasting your time. And what are you gonna be doing? Taking Lindy Hop lessons with the lover boy? Come on, man. Lindy Hop's cool. And girls love it. Isn't that right, Tiff? You have parents, don't you? Yeah, of course. So you don't know what it's like to be alone. What are you saying, Max? I know how Anna feels, and it's not a good feeling. What do you mean you know how she feels? My parents both died when I was little, and I've been living in foster homes all my life. I knew I had a grandma out there somewhere. I will never quit looking for her till I found her. Hi. I'm looking Hi. for a little. Does your granddaughter have blonde Anna. hair? She just had her birthday. We've got to get out of here, Toby. Maybe we could climb down the rain pipe. You're right, we might fall. I saw a movie once where they cut up sheets and tied them together and climbed down them. But it's too high for that. Maybe we can make a wish. I think wishes really do come true. Don't you, Toby? I hope somebody finds that letter. I love you, Toby. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah. Okay. Sleep good. What is that smell? Oh, it's perfume. Perfume? Why? I'm just trying out a little experiment. It's called the phrenology of the mind. It has something to do with the subconscious. Okay. I want to hear more about this in the morning. Now, good night. Love you. Hi, do you have a granddaughter named Anna? Okay, thank you. Hello, this is Florence McKenzie. Leave your number and a brief message, and I will return your call as soon as possible. Hi, I'm wondering, do you have a blonde granddaughter by the name of Anna? If you do, call me at 555-5643.
Hey, I, I like your perfume. Thanks, my grandma gave it to me. W what's your name? Anna. What's yours? Gage. What are your dog's names? Shock and Ah. George is a genius, dude. The subconscious mind stuff, it actually works. It was the weirdest dream, though. I remember seeing this one girl in the library. She's probably only in first or second grade, but I'm sure I haven't seen her since. Well, come on. The bell's gonna ring. Well, I don't know, man. Do you think this plan's gonna work with old lady Crouch? Do you have a better idea? No, but she's been here since my dad's been in school. I mean, she's probably seen every trick there's ever been. She's so old, she probably forgot every trick there ever was. Here, take a look. Whoa. Huh? It looks good. What is it? It's cream of mushroom soup. There's some chopped up walnuts and cut up grapes and chunks of chipotle. Looks real. Let's go. a little pale to me, Jake. Uh, I'm not feeling too good. Tell me, did you eat the school lunch? Yes, ma'am. As I thought. Cream of mushroom soup, cut up grapes, chopped walnuts, and, um, chipped beef. Very clever. I've never seen this one. However, it, it looks nothing at all like the spaghetti they served at lunch. Does it, Jake? No, ma'am. I don't know what you're up to, young man, but you are going to the janitor's office with me right now for a bucket and a mop, and you're going to clean up every bit of this mess. Let's go. Anna, Anna, where are you? What'd you find? The girl's name is Anna McKenzie. Where does she live? She lives at 2225 Sheffield Way. That's where Rachel Jones lives. I love that neighborhood. What bus does Rachel take? 23. He knows every bus every cute girl takes. And what bus do I take? 19. How about Megan Wright? 10. I can't believe this. What? 
It's my gift, okay? That's it. Whoa, cool house. So beautiful. Enough right. with the beautiful house. Let's get to work. All right. Everybody knows what to do? Tiffany, put your phone on speaker so we can hear when you get to the door. Okay, ready. Max, check out everything you can, but make sure nobody sees you. Copy. Here goes. She's at the door. What's wrong? <gasps> I already told you, don't worry about it. Answer it. How can I help you? Hi, my name's Tiffany. Is Anna here? Who's this guy? I don't know. Uh, sorry, there's there's no Anna that lives here. But she told me she lived here. Uh, well, uh, I believe you're referring to the family that, that used to live here, but they, they moved away a week ago. You know, come, come to think of it, I believe they did have a little girl. Did she have blonde hair and a dog named Toby? I, I don't know. I never had the good fortune to meet them. Oh, Ask them where they moved. Do you know where they moved? Good girl, good girl. I think they moved out west. Yeah, I think they moved to California. Or Oregon. Oh. Okay, well, thanks anyways. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't help you. It's okay. Bye. She used to live here, but they moved out about a week ago to, like, California or Oregon. California or Oregon? That sounds kind of fishy. Well, we tried, right? Let's go. What are you saying? You're not aborting the mission, are you? You heard Tiff. The girl moved. I looked in the windows. They're either moving in or moving out. Why would the guy lie? He doesn't know we're looking for Anna or her grandmother. Hey, I don't think we should give up so easy. We need to talk about this some more. I'm telling you, they found Anna's letter. What? So what if they did? What can poor kids do? I am not waiting around to find out. I'm... We're going to Europe tonight. Tonight? Yes. But... Get the tickets changed. But... I, I... Now! Duh. Kid, come here. So, where's that ugly mud of yours? <laughs> In the house where he's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. Don't forget what I told you. <coughs> Shut up back there! <laughs> Step away from the vehicle. <coughs> Toby? <coughs> Toby! It's Bart. And Magda's tell when I called his name. Come on, Jake. Any dog in a cage on his way to the pound is gonna bark and wag its tail no matter what you call him. I'm telling you, I really think it was Toby. We should go out and check the house out again. Jake, I'm not buying any of this. I gotta go. Ready? Let's have a post. Hi, Gage. Change your mind, huh? Hello. This is Florence McKenzie. I live at 1165 Park Place. Do you know where that is? Yeah, I think so. It's across from the park. 
my granddaughter Anna wrote this letter. Y yes, ma'am. You said you went by the house? Yes, ma'am. And someone told you that Anna had moved? Yes, ma'am. Moved? This is my granddaughter Anna, and that is my son who died three years ago, and his second wife, Shannon. Did you see anyone that looked like her? No, ma'am. A man answered the door and said that Anna had moved. Moved. Oh, if I could only remember where David said he hid the original document. What do you mean, original document? Before my son died, he made me guardian of Anna and the one who would inherit his fortune. David wrote it all down and told me where he put it. But I can't remember where. I'm just a tired old lady who can't remember anything. Don't worry. You'll remember. Your subconscious knows where it is. Something will unlock it. And then you'll know. I promise. But it may be too late. Bye, Mrs. Mackenzie. Is our flight. The best I could do is one that leaves in the morning. Uh, it'll be in Brussels by noon. We should probably leave by 11. I'll keep packing. Sharon says she's going to take me away. Send Toby to the pound. My guess it is a small dog. <laughs> Yorkie mixed terriers. Toby? Toby? doing something doesn't feel right i'm going back to that house to check things out one more time what do you mean check things out i got an idea if this doesn't work we'll forget the whole thing okay do you have a flashlight yeah bring it hurry come on hurry Wait, what are we doing? Cops say they can learn more about people from their garbage than anything else. Come on, help me tip this. It's locked. Somebody should get a taxi. Yes, I need a cab. Come on, Max, ring up. Come on. Holy cow. Max, look at this. Check this out. Dear Grandma, I hope you get this. Whoa. 
Duke, Duke. That's the guy I saw with Anna's father. Where? On the internet. Oh, oh, and that's Anna's stepmom. What'd you find? Nothing to worry about. You know those dogs that came by the other day? Uh, looks like they came back for dinner. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's fine. You're welcome. That was close. You could say that again. <gasps> Why didn't you tell me you were here? Because. Dexter would have heard me. So you got my email? Yeah. Who's this Dexter guy? It's Anna's father's lawyer. Now it makes sense. That's why Shannon gets all the fortune. And Anna. We gotta get Anna out of the house. Which means we gotta get into the house. And how are we supposed to do that? We don't even know where Anna is. If I were to send off a balloon, I'd send it off as high as I could get. The third floor. Give me yourself. Max? Max, where are you going? Max! Guess you're gonna have to be my best friend now since Toby's gone. Quiet, we you found your letter. We're here to help you get back to your grandmother. Anna? Anna, what is going on in here? Why did you scream? Um, I saw a mouse go into the closet. A mouse? Are you absolutely sure? Yes, he was ugly. He had a chipped tooth and, and one ear was missing. Oh, there he is! Where? Um, he went back in again. <sighs> Look, if he comes back again, I'll have Dexter deal with it. Be ready in 20 minutes. We're leaving this dump. Max, hey. I'm in the hot zone. I've got Anna here with me. She's okay, but... We got a problem. The door in Anna's bedroom is locked. From the outside. One of you is gonna have to get inside, come up, and unlock it. What? Come inside? You're kidding, right? I thought you said you were coming back down the rope. Come on. There's no way I can get Anna down the rope. The clock's ticking. You've got 10 minutes. Uh, I'll go, but how am I gonna get inside? Uh, let's 
go and check out if the back door's open. Here. Now be ready. Okay. I don't want to go. Don't worry. You're not going anywhere. I've got to get Toby. Where's Toby? I think Shannon gave him to the dog catcher. Hey guys, come here. I've got an idea. See that? The sprinkler system valve. That's right. Yeah, two things. They're leaving by cab. I don't know how you're gonna do it, but get rid of it. And Shannon gave Toby to the dog catcher. Somebody's gotta get him. Copy. As soon as Tiffany gets inside and unlocks the back door, you go to the pound and get Toby. Okay, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Hello, this is Dexter Phillips. I'm calling to confirm our cab ride to the airport. Great, thank you. Everything's fine, they'll be here in 10 minutes. Or maybe they're early. Hello, sir. Um, I don't mean to bother you, but I thought you'd like to know. You've got a geyser. A geyser? Yeah, that's when water under extreme pressure shoots up into the air. Yeah, I know what a geyser is. Oh, uh, well, this one just came undone. Oh, um, okay, um, I can, I can take care of this. Should only take a, take a minute. Do you, do you know where your valve box is? No. Okay, um, uh, thank you. Uh, I'll take care of this. Do that.
Jake, I'm upstairs. I unlocked the back door. Hi. My sister got really sick and they had to take her to the hospital. So they had to postpone their trip and they don't need a ride. But my dad said to tell you that he's really sorry. All right, kid. Nice work. Let's get out of here. You all wet. Oh, you're getting it all over the floor. Fire your gardener. You got a major problem with your sprinkler system. Don't move. I'll be right back with a towel. I was supposed to be here over 20 minutes ago. What's the holdup? Sheffield Drive. What? Are you kidding me? I don't have a son. Look, there has been a mistake. Get him back here immediately. Wait a minute. There's something really fishy going on. Go check on Anna. Now. Dexter. Shannon! Shannon! She's gone! Shannon! Shannon! Uh, she's, she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? How could she be gone? I had her locked in. I, I don't know, but I just checked it. We have got locked. to find her. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Um, I'll check the bedrooms. Uh, hi. Would you be interested in buying Girl Scout cookies? What? Not so fast. Max, help! Let her go. Help! Where's Anna? I said, let her go. Dexter! What's going on? I said, let her go. Hey, get back. Hey. Call an ambulance. Get back. Oh. Come on, Anna. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Anna. Help me, please. Uh, somebody. Hurry. It's paint. They're not going anywhere. Come on, hurry. It's locked. Come on. Go, 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 come on. Somebody tell me what's going on. All the outside doors are in a computer. Shannon must have locked us in. Where's the computer? Upstairs in the hallway. Tiffany, get the brain on the phone. Ask him how to get into that thing. We gotta get out of here. We'll try and stall as long as we can. Okay. Come here. Anna, stay in here and don't make a sound until I come get you. Okay. Uh. 
Thank you, Maria. You are a darling. Thank you, ma'am. Doggone good. Doggone good. Uh, one for me. <laughs> oh, you want a piece of ham, huh? Kids, I know you're in here. What's up? You're so stupid. It's over here. Mark, 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 Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Fun is over. You get out here right now. You get out here or right I'm now. calling the police. She's calling the police. She's not kidding. One me. more chance. You got one more chance? You get down here right now, or we're calling the cops. On the count of three. One, two, three. All right, that's it. Dexter, call the police. Uh, uh, hello. Hello, police. Yes, uh, I'd like to report that there are kids uh, running loose in my house and, and they are causing extensive damage. Yes, they are still here. Please send someone immediately. Click. They'll be here some... No! Oh! 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 Get him! Get him! Get him! Get the kid with the gun! Oh! Get this... Oh, come here! Oh! Take the cover off. Get him! Get him! Get The name of the company should be in the right hand corner. It says Syntax Security Inc. Syntax, huh? Okay, that should only take a few minutes. Back here, hands on you!
red wire that will short circuit the system and all the doors will unlock. Thanks George. And if this doesn't work, can I call you back? Of course, anytime. Okay, thanks George. You're such a sweetheart. Bye. Yeah. 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 Come back here. That is worth a lot of money. Now it's part of the Ming Dynasty. Now just you stop. want it? Yes. Here. No. Don't. What is legally mine? What are you talking about? Oh, I see you've taken up painting, Shannon. <laughs> Officers, I want these kids arrested for breaking and entering. An assault and battery. Who is that cowering behind you, Shannon? It wouldn't be David's attorney, Mr. Phillips, now, would it? Oh, now this all makes so much more sense. Get out of my house. Oh, give her the search warrant. I said, get out of my house. Are you sure it's your house, Shannon? Of course I'm sure it's my house. You've seen the documents. Oh, yes, my dear, but never the original. What are you talking about? Dexter, do something. You were right, you know, about the subconscious mind. Officer, would you help me with this? Certainly. Florence Isabel McKenzie, and not 
my second wife, Shannon McKenzie. Uh, you will uh, also find a signed original document to this effect accompanying this digital likeness of me. Thank you. And this is the original document. What have you done? You lied to me. You told me that Anna was going to be in my custody. I... You forged the documents, didn't you? Of course I forged the documents. You promised to marry me if I did. Who in their right mind would believe that? Spare me both of you. Officers, I want these two lying thieves arrested immediately. <laughs> arrested? Let's go, man. What? I I've got to call my attorney. Mistake. You are my attorney. Oh, give me a You can't prove anything. Let go of me. <laughs> You're all so wonderful. But where's my little Anna? Never, ever let anyone take you away from me again. He took Toby. Toby? <laughs> hey, look what I've got. Oh, Toby! <laughs> Hold it, everybody. We got a letter from Grandma Mackenzie. It says, My darling children, you have made Anna and me two of the happiest people in the whole world. I can't thank you enough. I saw you on Channel 12 and read about you in the local paper. How exciting. You are all so brave and wonderful. I love you very much. Don't forget Anna's birthday. I have a little surprise for you. A surprise? Cool. I wonder what it is. P.S. I think you will all find it very uplifting. Uplifting. All right, let's go. 